I've made an executive decision. <laughs> That's the word. <laughs> I changed my mind. <clears throat> I decided that I am going to make or attempt to make a um, Jacob's Ladder cardigan, which is something that I have never attempted. I've made Jacob's Ladder sweaters, like bomber sweaters, pullovers, but I have never done an actual cardigan. So <laughs> we're going to try this. And I'm going to be mixing a regular acrylic yarn with the latte yarn. So this should be interesting. So I was gifted this yarn because we can't get it in Canada. And I believe I got this from Chris. I'm, I think. Um, I either got this from Chris or got it from Jeanette. <laughs> I think it was Chris though. So anyways, uh, so this is the I Love This Yarn print. Um, I love this. I love print. Ugh. And this color is called Paint Party. And I'm going to mix that with this. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to go through the process with you. Why not? Okay, so what I did, what I'm going to do is something else that I've never done before. I usually just wing it when it comes to sizing. That's pretty apparent considering the sweater that I just sent Chris. <laughs> so, um, but this time I'm going to try something different and go buy a garment that I already have. Hmm. Um, so I'm sure you guys have seen me wear this before. This is a sweater that George got me from one of the Dragon Boat Festivals. Okay, so I'm just going to go by the width of this. So I'm going to grab it underneath the arms Oops. and just measure how wide it is. This is so foreign to me. <coughs> So if you want to cut, hey, here's an idea. Do you guys want to do this with me? This could be interesting. Okay, pick your yarn, pick two different colors, one solid, one variegated. Okay, and we're going to do this together. Yeah, why not? Okay, so grab a, a shirt or a sweater or something that you've already got. And we're going to be measuring underneath the arms, along the back. Okay, right under the armpit to the other, whoops, the other side. And mine is 25 inches, which is about 64 centimeters. Is that what that is? We don't, I don't work in centimeters. So mine's about 25 inches across the back. Okay. Okay. So there we go. 25 inches across the back. So that's how wide I'm going to be doing the back of my sweater. Don't know how long I'm going to make it yet, but we'll figure that out later okay so another thing that i'm doing differently than i usually normally do is i'm actually going to use the variegated yarn as the base color and use the latte cake as the secondary color because the base um that their foundation chain that I have, I want to be sturdy, whereas Latte Cakes is really floppy. So I wanted this first row to be stable. <clears throat> so another thing I did 
like I did 75. Oh, and by the way, I'm using a six millimeter hook. Um, another thing I did was I counted every five stitches, I put a stitch marker. So you want to make sure that at the beginning, you're going to have five. And at the end, you're going to have five. Because each one of these stitch markers, you're going to count like one, two, three, four, five, stitch marker, one, two, three, four, five, stitch marker. Every stitch marker is going to be a Jacob's Ladder, okay? And on the ends, this is going to be your Jacob's Ladder, and this is going to be your last, or your your first five double crochets. And at the end, you're going to have your last Jacob's Ladder and five double crochets, okay? So... That just makes it easier so you can kind of keep track of where you are. show you how far I've gotten and what it looks like and I gotta say I'm pretty impressed when you look at this you don't expect it to come out as beautiful as it is like I'm really happy with this I'm excited so here we go oops I'm all tangled Can you see that? Like I know that the I know it's behind me. Oh, the light's behind me, but look at that. I'll show it to you guys again tomorrow when it's light out. But isn't that pretty? Oh, it's like hang on, let me see if I can let me turn you around. Okay, the light's coming from the other way now. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I mean like that is the way it would look if there was no white in in between and it just looks um what's the word like it's just too much but that is so stinking pretty holy cow i just love this Oh, I'm so excited to get this sweater finished now. Look at this. First fire of the season. Look at the dog. <laughs> she loves the fireplace. <laughs> so anyways, I'm totally pumped at the way that this is turning out. Um, now I want more colors like this. Like I'm unemployed now. <laughs> I can't afford to be putting in orders. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm going to work on this tomorrow. I've now got my yarn for... Oh, me. George got me my yarn for the dragon. So, I'm going to work on that tomorrow. And, yeah. So, I guess I'll talk to you tomorrow. Good night. Hello, yarn bees. So, <coughs> oh, <coughs> lost my voice. Um, okay, so I finished the back panel. Okay. Here it is. It looks so different from far away than close up, doesn't it? 
patterning of it. That was kind of cool. So, yeah. So, I finished the back panel. Oops. Now, I'm starting on the side panel. So, all I did was I took the length, um, the size of the length, which was 37 inches. Now, remember, you need to land on a five, right? <clears throat> so, I went back two stitches and did 35. Um, so, just round up or round down to the nearest five. You know, 45, 55, 65, whatever. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, and then start your side panel. So, on my side panel, I did... Oops. I did 35 stitches, right? 35, uh, I, I'm doing foundationless double crochets. <clears throat> okay, so I did 35 foundationless double crochets, and then I started. What I did on, on this, which is not what I did on the, the channel, or on the video, was I did my foundationless double crochet row, then I started, or maybe I did, I can't remember. So, yeah, yeah, I did. So I'm starting that one, and I have, how many rows do I have? Ooh. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. I've got 31 sections. Now, each, like each color, 31. Each one of these has two rows in it because you're doing a single crochet row on top of the double crochet row. So, but I've got 31 sections, right, um, to make my back panel. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to make my two side panels. And I'm hoping, cross my fingers, that I have enough of this. I think I have another bowl. I better go check because if I don't I'm in trouble because I can't get this here this is um the I love this yarn print <clears throat> I can't get that in Canada shoot I didn't think to look at that because I used two did I use two for the back panel no I only used one for the back panel so I should be able to get two panels out of one maybe i don't know i don't know oh geez that's gonna be interesting ah i guess we'll find out okay so now i've got both side panels done and the back panel done so now what i'm gonna do is i'm going to take wrong side of this panel and no nope, right no nope. and put the right side of the panel up and I'm gonna put the right side of the panel on the side on the right side of the panel here so that it's kind of inside out all right so there's the inside of the panel you're gonna have both panel insides facing each other and you're going to slip stitch the tops you can do that for both sides okay you can put both sides on and then we can work on the arms yay almost done almost done now the arm panel I'm just gonna do like a straight panel and I believe, like I usually go by the length of my arm, which is 
and I don't have my, ugh, I don't have my, never find anything. Um, I believe it's 19 inches from shoulder to, nope, don't have it, from shoulder to wrist, but depending on where the shoulders of the sweater lay is going to be dependent on how long your sleeve is going to be. <clears throat> now, once you get these two panels slip stitched, try it on and see where this part lays on your shoulder and measure from there to not here because you're going to put a cuff on it. Measure about two and a half inches up. Okay. Uh, and then that's how long your panel is going to be. You're going to measure around your arm, <clears throat> excuse me, and give maybe another inch of ease, unless you want it tight. Um, but, you know, don't forget that when you're crocheting this, it might expand a little bit. So maybe half an inch. But do, do a couple of rows and then see how it is on your arm. Flex your arm and then see how big it is. That should be enough because you don't want it to be too tight. Uh, and then we'll see where we're at. I'm not going to be doing the Jacob's Ladder for the sleeves. I'm just going to do a straight half double crochet. Maybe do half double crochet in the back loop. No. Yeah, just straight half double crochet, I think. I'll see. Hang on. Oh, and make sure that when you're putting these two sides together that your Jacob's Ladder is the same on the front and the back. Do not flip it upside down. I've done that before. Make sure that they're both facing. The V's are both going up like that and then put it together because you don't want to go and do the slip stitching all the way across just to find out that your panel's upside down. Just food for tot. For, for tot? Food for tot. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> okay, so you've got the moment that you panic because you can't find your hook. And then you've just frogged all this and you go, oh God, is it under there? Do I have to move this? Because if I do, it's going to be a knotted mess. And you're looking everywhere and it's like you can't find it and you're going oh my god and then you look over here and it's sticking out of your project <laughs> oh yeah that's my life right now hi so this is editing sandy um i was editing this video and i realized i totally didn't film the sleeves at all. So <clears throat> I'm going to try and explain this on a different sweater that I haven't put the sleeves on yet. <laughs> okay, so like I said, you're going to measure from wherever your um, sweater lands down to about two inches um, from your wrist. Okay, and then you're going to measure around and you're going to get the size of your panel. Okay, so see, this is your panel. All right, what you're going to do is you're going to lay your sweater out flat. Okay, I'm going to try and do this one handed. Okay, so say this is your sweater. Oh, here, let me bring out a little bit more. Okay, say this is your sweater. <clears throat> All right, what you're going to do is you're going to take it and you're going to lay it out flat. Like this. Oops. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> You're going to find out where the middle of your sleeve is. So it's about here. You can put stitch marker right there. Excuse my feet. Then you're going to put your sleeve. You find out where the middle of your sleeve is. Okay. And you're going to put, put the stitch marker in there and hold them together. And put stitch markers all the way across to keep it in place. Then you're going to flip. Well, I guess... You can flip it over so that you're looking at the wrong side and you're going to do your whip stitch right across. Okay, you can do that for both sides and then this will be all attached. Then you're going to take the whole thing 
let's pretend like this is all attached. Okay. <clears throat> so that's going to look kind of like this. Right. Then you're going to whip stitch on the wrong side, not on the right side. You're going to flip it inside out. Whip stitch all the way up here and all the way across on both sides. All right. Then your sweaters all together. Then you can start on your cuffs. Okay. When you're doing your cuffs, okay, I have a tutorial that I'm going to link down below to explain how to do a cuff. Um, you don't have to have a cuff. You can leave it as is and then just add, <clears throat> add a little bit to your sweater. Oops. Um, add a little bit to your sweater to take it down to your wrist or you could put the cuff on. Okay. Um, the tutorial that I'm going to link is for a campfire cardigan, but the concept is the same. All right. So yeah. And then your sweater, then you got to do your, oh, I didn't, I didn't film the, um, ah, oh, good grief. I didn't film the collar either. <clears throat> wow. Okay. Um, any one of my sweater tutorials has the collar, so you can use any of those uh, tutorials for this. But basically, all I did was I did um, double crochets or half double crochets, depending. Don't Make sure that you don't do them really tight. Go up a couple hook sizes or like a hook and a half size so that it doesn't pull up your corners. And do your double crochets all the way around and then do front post back post all the way around and keep doing that for however wide you want your collar hello yarn of bees oh you're over a little bit hang on how are you today today is a big day <laughs> um i finished the sweater yes i did so I'm going to show it to you. Let's see if I can pull you back here. Oh, how far back can I go? Here it is. Whoops. Oh. Okay. This is all done in the Jacob's Ladder. As you saw in the other clips. Here, let me stand up a little bit. Okay, isn't it pretty? This is all in latte cake. Ah, I love it, love it, love it. Here, I'll put it, let me see if I can put it on just to show you a little. <laughs> okay, so there we go. It's kind of hard to show you guys here. Let me see if I can get this out of the way. Bring you over here. There, okay. So there it is. All done, all done. So cozy, so nice and cozy. Okay, bring it back. Whoop. Okay, now this sweater is between a large and a one X. Um, the sleeves are about. 19 inches I think it is um so yeah it's just it's it's a wonderful co um bundle of coziness is this one <laughs> yes it's done it's done but that's not all that's not all guys are you ready for this I'm so excited <laughs> I'm giving it away one of you. Yes, I am. Surprise! <laughs> okay, we haven't had a giveaway in years. All right, and this is a pretty, pretty substantial giveaway. Okay, I worked my guts out on this sweater. Um, 
I put a lot of love into it and I want to give it to one of you. <laughs> yes. All right. So here's what's going to happen. If you are interested in this sweater, even if it's not your size, you can still enter and then give it to somebody for Christmas. Why not? Um, so you're going to comment down below sweater. That's it. Just sweater. And, uh, at the end of the month, before I go for my surgery, I am going to do the, um, comment, comment picker. And I'll do that on camera. Like I always do. And I will pick the winner. And then the winner will contact me at grogercanada at gmail.com and give me the your deets, like your address and your phone number and all that kind of stuff. And I will get it out in the mail to you. Yay! <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> ah, yes. So this beautiful sweater could be yours. Um, just in time for winter. Because, man, it's coming. We've got a, what do they call it? Atmospheric river or something going through here. Uh, like, the weather's crazy all over the place. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, I think we might have an early winter. And this is going to come in handy. Yes. So, okay. So, I am so excited. I, I'm, I can't wait. And another thing. I don't care where you live. If you live in across the pond in the UK, enter. If you live in Australia, like some of you there that we know that won two boxes of yarn before, <laughs> enter. Okay. Do not worry about the shipping on this. Okay. Please. Uh, this is my gift to you for, you know, being with me. Um, and also you have to be a subscriber. Okay, so if you are not a subscriber, please push the button down below. Okay, um, you have to be 19 and over, or 18 and over. Um, and this is, this is not a giveaway that is affiliated with anybody but myself. So, yeah. Uh, so, if you are interested in this gorgeousness, you want to see it one more time? Oh. So pretty, so pretty. Um, if you're interested in this gorgeousness, then comment sweater down below. Okay. All right, guys, that's it. <laughs> okay. So, uh, and all of you that are my members, go over to my members channel. Okay. Or, and if you're not a member, go over to my members channel. Push the button to join my members because there is a giveaway going on over there as well. Okay. Uh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause my members, I remember I was telling, I, I some of you may not know, but I was saying before that I was going to put it up to my members, um, to say what would they want? Would they want a custom sweater or would they want a custom plushie? So far, I'm actually kind of surprised that a custom plushie is, is, you know, is up in the running. <laughs> I was like, hmm. and a specific plushie, a guardian. Uh, I, I'm a little shocked, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, so anyways, if you are not a member of my channel, I urge you to go push that little button. It's only $2.99 a month. And um, yeah, and get in on the giveaway. Uh, so yeah, I, that's it. That's all. That's all folks. <laughs> bleep, bleep, bleep. Um, so I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay. I love you all. Mm -hmm.